the start to finish series everyday products from iron to car written by Shannon Zimlicka cars go fast and far how are they made machines dig up iron ore a car starts as a metal called iron iron comes from iron ore iron ore is a mixture of iron and other metals or rocks big machines dig up iron ore from underground the iron ore is heated. The iron ore is mixed with a rock called limestone. Burned charcoal is added. The mixture is heated. The iron melts into a thick liquid. Parts of the ore that are not iron float to the top. Workers remove these parts. Only iron is left. The iron is made into steel. Pieces of steel are added to the iron. Steel is a kind of metal. It is stronger than iron. The iron and steel are melted together to make liquid steel. The steel is shaped. The liquid steel is poured into a machine that shapes it. Cold water cools the steel. It hardens. Then the steel is heated again. Huge rollers press the steel into strong, thin sheets. Machines cut car parts. Trains take the steel to a car factory. A factory is a place where things are made. Machines cut the steel sheets into doors, a hood, a trunk, and other car parts. Machines put the parts together. Machines use heat to melt the edges of the parts together. The parts cool and harden into one piece. This piece is called the car's body. The body is painted. Machines cover the body with paint. Paint protects the body and makes it look shiny. This body has been painted red. A machine cuts a frame. A machine cuts a frame from sheets of steel. A frame is like a car skeleton. An engine is attached to give the car power. Wheels are added. The body is put on the frame. Machines help put the body and frame together. Seats, windows, a steering wheel, and many other parts make the car complete. Vroom, vroom! The new cars are ready for the road. They have gone from iron to car. The end.